Mas kala mo baraka mo da yaw, baraka mo kuma da saake saadwa da ku a chikin wani saban shiren na zauran enjeri du. Shiren da tashar giren television ta standard voice wa ta SVTV ke dawkan na wenka wa moku ako wana maku. Do men tata wana mohim momba tutu wanda saka tasu a chikin kasa da ma wajan kasa wasu lokotan. Wana shiri de manu parishi wayad da kan al umma musamman dangane da mohim momba tutu wan da kuma wato warware zare da abawa wannan shirin dai yakan gayyato masu ruwa da tsaki musamman ga batutuwan da muke tattaunawa musamman da kuma yan jaridu a yau ma kamar kullum shirin ya sake gayyato jerin wasu yan jaridu wanda za su taya mu fashion baki a cikin shirin wanda za mu tattauna ne ka cokan a karo na biyu dangane da zanga zangar da ake gudanarwa a Nigeria musamman akan rundunar yan sanda ta SARS wadda tuni babban spetal general na yan sanda ya bada sanarwar cewa an rusa wannan runduna domin tattaunawa din dai na sake gayyato jerin wasu yan jaridu cikin su har da sakataren kungiyar yan jaridu na kasa reshen jahar zamfara wanda kuma ma'aikaci ne a kamfanin dillancin labarai na kasa wato malam abubakar ahmad malam abubakar muna yi maka barka da shigowa a wannan shirin ma na yaro barka da haraka masu kallon barka mu da haraka muna kuma tare da dan jarida mai kuma sharhi akan al'amura yau da kullum wanda shine shugaban wannan gidan television na standard voice wato malam ibrahim dosara malam ibrahim muna yi maka barka da isuwa masu kallon mu barka mu da haraka malam da yaro ina godiya da ba da lawal ibrahim da yake ka sauko na biyu masu kallon mu su yi kiwo ka kware kuwa to madalla masu kallon mu suna na dahiru sama'ila mafara ni ne zan jagoranci gabatar da wannan shirin kamun mu shiga cikin shirin gadan gadan yana da kyau mu yi muku matashiya da irin wato tarka tarka da ake fama da ita a Nigeria ta zanga zanga musamman ta kokarin da wani bangare na wannan kasa yake yi na ganin cewa an rusa wannan runduna ta yan sanda ta SARS wato mai faputukar wato hana fashi da makami wadda kamar yadda na fada tuni shugaban kasa Muhammadu Buhari da babban speto general na yan sanda sun bada sanarwar cewa an rusa wannan amma duk da haka zanga zangar ba ta tsaya a nan ba ta ci gaba a dan haka ne muka ga ya dace mu gayyato wa'annan masana domin tattaunawa dangane da abu yadda abubuwa suke kai da komo mala ibrahim bari in fara da kai na'am wani sharhi za ka yi muna kan wannan zanga zangar da ake gudanarwa a najeriya duk da yake an ce ana gudanar da ita ne domin wato kin jinin wannan runduna ta yan sanda ta sas wadda tuni kamar yadda masu kallon mu da sauran al'umma suka sani cewa babban speto general na yan sanda ya bada sanarwa cewa an rusa wannan runduna har ma an mai gurbinta da wata wato rundunar wadda ake cewa SWAT mutane da dama suna da alamomin tambaya musamman mi waya kake ganin sai hancin wannan ita zanga zanga din a yanzu to da farko dai ina so in dan bada tsokaci game da yanda aka yi shiri na ita wannan wato zanga zanga da aka gudanar ko kuma ake gudanarwa domin har yanzu ba a bari ba wato wadansu yan najeriya ne da suke kasashen waje wadanda kansu ya waye kuma suna ganin cewar kamar ya kamata al'umar najeriya ta kasance kamar al'umar kasashen da suke zaune inda ake bin doka da oda ba a cin zarafin mutane sannan ana bin haki da kadin kowane mahaluki a cikin kasa abubuwa suna tafiya gwargwado kamar yadda ya kamata wannan shine tunanin wa'anda suka shirya ita wannan zanga zanga uh, wanda suka shirya cewa ya kamata a yi ta a cikin Najeriya to kuma uh, sai aka yi wato sa'a ko rashin sa'a a wajen su aka yi wani cin zarafi ga wani mutum a Najeriya inji ita wannan huku ko kuma runduna ta yan sanda da ake kira ta SARS wannan shine dalilin da yasa mutane suka ce to bari su fake da wannan ai wannan zanga zanga domin a tabbatar da cewar wannan runduna ta SARS 
an dakatar da ita daga cin zarafin mutane da take yi bila adadin a ko ina cikin fadin Najeriya ba arewa ba ba kudu ba saboda haka sai suka fito matasa akai amfani da wato abin da muke kira yanar gizo domin wayar da kan matasa su fito wannan zanga zanga don a nuna kin jinin ita wannan runduna da ayyukanta wannan shine musabbabin wannan wato zanga zangar to kuma a gani na bisa ga hujoji da kuma yadda ita wannan runduna take gudanar da ayyukanta da irin wato hujojin da aka tattara game da su na cin zarafin bil adama to da kuma irin bata suna sunan najeriya da ita wannan runduna take yi musamman idan muka yi la'akari da duniyar yanzu ta zama ga tahin hannu ta yanar gizo duk abin da aka yi nan take za ka ganshi a duniya to wannan zai yana bata sunan najeriya gaba dai don haka ni a gani na wannan zanga zangar da aka yi ta dace yana da kyau domin a nuna ma duniya cewa ba ho kowa ne yake da ra'ayi na ainihin wannan cin zarafi da rundunar ta sasu take yi ma al'umar Najeriya ba kuma ina gaya maka cewa kusan kowane dan Najeriya ya ji dadin fituwa wannan zanga zanga domin na daidai wannan rundunar ta adabi mutane fede inda kake zato saboda suna amfani da karfin har da ya wuce nasu ba sa kula da tsarin kundin mulkin Najeriya ba sa kula da tsarin da tane da tsane dan aikin so yan sanda yayi na kiyaye rayuwa da dukiyoyin jama'a a a idan suka samu mutun sun dinga a zazzaba shi da bashi gwale gwale da hukunta shi ta yanda na dai akasarin wadanda suke wa watakila suna da hawan jini sai su samu hawan jini su mutu wasu su kuma idan ba su samu hawan jini ba su su mutu ba watakila rashin lafiyar tabin hankali ta same su wasun su kuma za su samu wato kariyar gangar jikin su watakila wasu su kurame watakila wasu su gurgunce wasu kuma su makance to mallam ibrahim baka ganin cewa su ma suna cewa mafi yawancin wa'anda suke wato yaki mutane ne wa'anda wato an san su fitanan nune wato yan ta'adda ne kamar masu fashi da makami da ire ire makamantan nan wanda suna rike da nasu makamai saboda haka duk lokacin da za su tunkare su to sai sun tayi da shirin ko ta kwana eh to amma ai abinda ake magana anan shine cin zarafin mutum alal misali in ka taras da mutum kan hanya ai akwai ka'idoji da dokokin da ya kamata ka bi wajen tambayar sa da kuma gano ko shi wani irin mutum ne amma yanda ake yi ana za a dauke ka a kai ka hukumar ko kuma ofishin hukumar ta rundunar yan sanda a dinga nuna ma azaba har sai ka ji wuya ka ce ka amsa laifin ka hali ko da baka da laifin wannan shine ake magana amma ai daidai ne a kama masu laifi a hukunta su amma da yanda ake cin zarafin wadanda ba su ji ba ba su gani ba wannan shine akan magana wannan kuma shine matasan da suka fito suna wannan zanga zanga suka yi saboda haka ni ina da ra'ayin wannan zanga zanga daidai ne musamman idan muka yi la'akari da kamar yadda nace irin yanda yan sandan suke lalata sunan Najeriya musamman idan aka yi la'akari yanda ake cin zarafin jama'a wasu suna mutuwa wasu suna kumar cewa wasu kuma suna samun mutuwar sashin jiki saboda azaba da kuma ainihin irin yadda shi karan kanshi aikin na yan sanda ya gurbace ta yanda kowa yake yin yanda ya ga dama cin hanci da rashawa ya yawa a tsakanin yan sanda musamman su wadannan da suke wannan rundunar da aka rushe to ma saboda haka wannan ya dace amma sai dai ni abinda nake gani inda masu wannan zanga zanga suka wuce rawa da makadi inda suka kiyadda su dakatar da wannan zanga zanga duk da cewar gwamnati ta dauki hanyar biya musu da wato bukatocin da suka shata ma ita gwamnati to mala Abu Bakar wace irin illa ce kake ganin wannan zanga zanga ta jawo to alhamdulillah man dahiru zan dan goya da maganar da Mala Ibrahim yayi na cewa 
wasu ne daga kasashen waje su ai yan kasashen wajen sun koyo ne da abubuwan da halayyan da suke gani ana yi a wayancin kasashen ka tuna nan baya kadan lokacin da aka kashe wani bakin fata a America mutane baka kin fata kusan gaba ɗayan su na wannan kasa sun fito sun yi zanga zanga wanda zanga zanga har aka shiga wasu kasashe kaman Faransa Germany Ingila da sauran su amma duk wannan zanga zanga da suka yi baka ji inda aka ce sun kashe mutum ba ko sun kona ko sun kona wani ko sun je sun kama ɗan sandan wa'anda daman su aka zargi sun kashe musu dan uwa duk babu wannan to mu namu cikin illolin da yake akwai ɗan zauna gari banza da yawa da aka fara wannan abu sai suka wuce kamar maganar da ya fara dakowa yanzu suka wuce gona da iri shikenan aka shiga duk wata kafata gwamnati inda an kyale su da sai sun lalata ta kaga dai sun shiga fadan sarkin lagos sun kona sun shiga ma'aikatu daban-daban sun kokkona sun kama kai har mutane an kashe yanzu halin da ake ciki wannan ya ce ba mu muka kashe ba wannan ya ce ba mu muka kashe ba ba yadda za a ka gane wane ne dan zanga zangan da wane ne ba dan zanga zangan ba lokacin da aka fito wannan abu duk lokacin da duk wuraren da suka shiga kusan gaba ɗaya ake tafiya saboda haka babu wani wanda zai fito ya ce maka a wannan ba yan zanga zangan ba ne duk abin da zanga zangan nan ta haddasa kenan da masu gaskiya wa'anda suka fito domin wannan ƙarshen SARS din sannan ka kamanta ma da yaro ana gama wannan abu ai sorry suna magana cewa ba sa san wa'annan yan sanda gwamnatin tarayya ta ce ta dakatar da su to ai tunda haka nan shikenan ai an gama magana sai kowa ya koma gidan shi a zauna a ce to shikenan muna jira mu ga matakan da gwamnati za ta ce ta dauka na cewa ta rushe wannan runduna amma sai aka ci gaba da wannan to tun daga ranar da gwamnati ta fito sha biyu ga wata ne ko sha daya ga wata shugaban kasa ya magana cewa ya rushe shi ma shugaban yan sandan na Najeriya ya ce an rushe su kamata ya a ce daga nan an ja layi an jira na jira ga abin da gwamnati za ta yi to duk abin da ya biyo bayan wannan sunan shi barna duk abin da ya biyo bayan wannan da ko da cikin lumana suka kira abin ko cikin tashin hankali duk abin da akai bayan nan yana cikin illolin wannan zanga zanga da akai na SARS domin sunan wannan abin ba SARS bane tunda ai babu SARS to Mala Ibrahim kafin mu tafi tabbataccen hutun rabin lokaci ya kai ka kalli yadda aka juya aka lazza ga zanga ta koma wani abu daban sabanin domin da farko suna da awacewa suna da bukata a soke wannan runduna ta SARS bisa ga irin zargin can zarafi da ake yi ma ita wannan runduna aka kuma amsa cewa eh lalle gwamnati ta yadda da cewa uh, akwai abun dubawa a ciki saboda haka ta soke wannan runduna ta ma ayyana cewa ta mai gurbinta da wata tare da wasu sharuɗa duk da haka din sai zanga zanga bata dakata ba ta ci gaba da faruwa har abun ya juye ya koma wani abu daban na kona kone da kashe kashe da lalata dukiyar al'umma ya kai ka kalli wannan al'amari to da farko dai kaga kamar yadda na fada cewa da a ce masu zanga zangan nan matasan nan lokacin da gwamnati tace ta rushe wannan runduna sannan tace ta kafa committee wanda zai binciki yadda ake cin zarafin jama'a inji ita wannan rundunar da kuma cewar ta dauki mataki na inganta walwala da jin dadi da kuma albashin dan sanda gabaki ɗayan su da kuma sake tsari na gudanar da aikin dan sanda a Najeriya ta yanda zai yi daidai da zamani da kuma sauran kasashen duniya sannan kuma tace ta ba jihohi umurnin su kafa komitocin shari'a na bincike domin su gano inda aka ci zarafin ko wane ne a jihohin su inji wannan runduna ta sas sannan kuma aka ce bayan rushe su jami'an da ke aiki ga ita wannan rundunar an ce ba za a sa su a wata rundunar da za a kafa ba sannan kuma za a ma gudanar musu da bincike na kokwalwa domin a gano ko suna da tabin hankali ko ba su da tabin hankali kamin a tura su wani wurin aiki da za su yi aiki to kaga tun lokacin da aka yi wannan matakai ya kamata a ce matasa sun guje daga tituna sun bari an ci gaba da al'amura cikin kasa to amma ci gaba da zanga zangar ni ya bani wani tunani 
da kuma zargi na cewar dama can ainihin tunanan yin zanga zanga din nan ba wai don yan sanda bane kawai a a akwai wadansu manufofi da ake da su dan gane da ita gwamnatin ta Najeriya da ma shugabannin na Najeriya da ma yadda zaman takewar ita karan kanta Najeriya take ciki sai aka ci kuma rashin sa'a aka zo ga yawan aiki rashin yawan aikin ni ya yawa a tsakanin matasa sannan jami'o jami in kasan nan suna rufe saboda corona virus sannan malaman jami'o in kasan nan suna yajin aiki saboda matsalar albashi sannan ga yan YSC wato yan bautar kasa sun rufe wuraren da ake bautar kasa ba a daukar yan YSC din yara sun gama karatu suna zauna gida ba sa aikin komai sannan akwai wadanda sun gama university shekara daya biyu uku wasu har shida ba su da aikin yi suna zaune to sai aka samu aka bada wannan dama tare kuma da yin amfani da yanar gizo din nan aka yi duk abin da ake so aka wanke kokwalwan matasan Najeriya da yan zamna gari banza suka shigo suka mamaye titunan Najeriya musamman a kudancin Najeriya inda ake ta wannan zanga zanga ba dare ba rana to wannan ni ya bani tunanin cewar ainihi asalin zanga zangar ba wai don wannan runduna ta ta yan sanda ta sa su bace a a zanga zanga ce ta mutane sun sun gaji da matsalar da ake ciki ta rashin ta rashin wato abun yi ta rashin sana'ayi ta rashin kudi ga yunwa ga talauci wannan sun haddasar da kuma ainihin wadanda su karan kansu ba ta gari ne sun riga sun lalace suna shaye shaye suna duk abin da suka ga dama to an yi amfani da su domin a tarwatsa kasar a lalata ta a rusa mulkin kasar wannan shine abin da wannan abu ya bani tunani da zargin cewar wannan shine dalilin da yasa aka yi ita wannan zanga mala abubakar kwatsam sai ga yan kungiya wato masu faputukar neman da fara wato yan ipop sun hado kwatsam cikin wannan zanga zanga har ma suna ta fadin wasu maganganu wa'anda za su iya kawo rikita a kasa wanda yana dai daga cikin abin da yasa mutane su ma suka fara zargin cewa to ke na ba maganar wannan runduna ta sa su bace ake wani abu ne boyayi wanda mutane da dama sun yi ta bada fassara akan shi ya kai ka kalli wannan abu ya wato akwai gaskiya a cikin wannan tunani na mutane ai da mun kamar yadda nace maka daga ranar 11 nan ko 12 ga wata da aka ci an roshe wannan runduna ta yan sanda duk abin da ya faru na barna ne to saboda haka su daman sun dade suna magana sai an ba su kasar su a yanke su daga Najeriya akwai wa'anda ke kan gaba ba wai duka yan kudancin kasan bane ko kuma su in ya murai bane wa'anda ke wannan magana su ma ya raba kuma akwai wasu daga cikin su wa'anda su ma suke cewa sai an ba su ta su kasa to wannan sai ya sai ya zama sun sami dama na su fito su yi wannan magana musamman wannan kungiya ne ko zan ce hadin kai na ipop wanda jagoran su shi su ne shine nmd nmd kanu kakka manta ma da hiru nmd kanun nan an kama shi tun 2017 aka kai shi kotu inda binta in yako ta yin justice binta in yako ta yanke shari'a cewa za a ba za a bada belin shi ba sai da wani senator mai suna Abaribe ya zo da shi da wasu mutum biyu suka zo aka ce musu kudin belin shi miliyan 100 ne wanda su ma har yanzu ina saran ba su biya ba kuma shi ya samu dama ya sulale daga kasar nan to wannan innan dukanun shine har yanzu ya zo ya amfani da wannan dama yana kiraye kiraye ga al'umma shi cewa kas yadda shi ke gaya akwai wani akwai rediyon su da ake kira Radio Biafra yayi amfani sosai sosai a wannan zanga zanga da ake yi a inda zaka ji ana kiraye kiraye ga mutane cewa ku je wuri kaza ku yi barna kaza ku je wuri kaza a faya fayan su daban-daban da suka riga abin nan to mala Ibrahim kana gani da da irin wa'annan shawarwari ko kuma umurni da ya riga badawa da shine mutanen nan suka riga shigewa suna barna a dukkan inda akai barnan har gidajen television da gidajen radio da aka ce an kona ko an rushe su 
wannan dubbi bayan maganganun da ko kuma umunnin da shi in namdi ya bada ni to waɗannan su ne suka jawo wannan abin bai sanya kare yanzu kamar yadda Malam Ibrahim faɗa mutane na cikin yunwa da talauci da rashin aiki da da abubuwa da yawa waɗanda ke tattara da al'umma musamman su matasa to shi wanda yake zauna haka ya sai ga dama ta samu cewa je kai barna daman kuma yana ganin cewa wancan store din ai an aje kayan abinci a ciki wancan bankin akwai kudi a ciki a kasa wancan ATM har ATM machine na ga ana zungurin shi da yake ana san a fasa ana ganin kaman an fasa za a samu kudin to kaga sai suka shige cikin wannan abu har yanzu zan sake koma da mu cewa duk abin da ya faru bayan wannan jawabi na shugaban kasa da shugaban yan sanda cewa an roshi wannan abun barna ne shi yasa duk wa'annan abubuwa in namdi kanu da shi da wa'anda ke goyen bayan su da kuma shirin da shugabannin su na kudancin kasar nan suka yi ya cuci kasar nan baki daya domin su matasa kamar yadda kasa ana cewa kullun su ne manyan gobe suna mancewa da cewa wa'annan barna da suke yi to suna cutawa kawunan su ne domin ai in ka rusa komai to sai kun zo kun sake faruwa kenan daga farko tunda kun riga kun barna ta wanda ke da akwai to madalla maskalan mu yanzu kuma lokaci ne da za mu tafi takaitaccen hutun rabin lokaci idan mun dawo za mu dora daga inda muka tsaya kamar nan sai a dakace mu to madalla masu kallonmu barka mu da dawowa hutun takaitaccen rabin lokaci kada dai a sha'afa ana tare da shirin zauran Angel Du shirin tashar gidan television ta Standard Voice wanda ke da manufar warware zare da abawa da kuma wato karin haske dan gane da muhimman batutuwan da suke faruwa a cikin kasa muna tattaunawa ne a yau dan gane da ci gaba da zanga zanga musamman ta kin jinin wa'annan runduna ta yan sanda ta SARS da ke faruwa a yanzu haka a Najeriya bayan ga sauran yan kasa akwai muhimman mutane da dama anan ciki da wajen Najeriya su ma sun yi sharhofuka dan gane da yadda suke kallon wannan zanga zanga yanzu da mu da ku masu kallon mu bari mu kalli abin da wa'annan muhimman mutane suke fadi dan gane da wannan zanga zanga daga baya sai mu dawo nan daki mu watsar shirye shirye domin bakin namu su yi mana sharhi dan gane da abin da suka fahimta da shi masu kallon mu sai a shakallo lafiya i will not sign off on a budget that does not meet the reasonable demands of the asu to which government has already acceded there is no better time to rethink the system of funding for higher education in nigeria the current system does a great disservice to our children and our country and we must commit to changing it so that we can free our institutions of higher learning to be citadels where innovation thrives and excellence is a given with my colleagues in the house of representatives i will visit over the next week some of the families of those who have lost loved ones to police brutality i particularly appeal to president muhammadu buhari in his capacities as president of nigeria commander in chief of the armed forces and as a parent of youth like the ones who have in the last week or so come out in peaceful protest against police brutality and for improvement in their lives and their living conditions to restrain the military and other security agencies from using brute force as a way of ending the crisis the shooting and murder of unarmed protesters no matter the level of provocation has never been effective in suppressing public anger and frustration instead such actions only reinforce the anger and frustration of the populace and close the window of dialogue and peaceful resolution it is clear that mr president and his lieutenants 
did not exhaust the opportunities for dialogue with the protesters before resorting to use of force. It is worse that there is denial of wrongdoing in spite of overwhelming visual evidence. Great harm has now been done, but it can be stopped before it completely spirals out of control. We are at a critical moment in this crisis, and Mr. President must act now before it is too late. This time demands leadership and mature leadership as such. Jack Dorsey, the Twitter owner and the Twitter International as a company, for actively sponsoring and supporting the NSAS movement by encouraging funding for this movement that have resulted into serious catastrophe for the country. I'm sure most of you are aware of what is happening. Now we have several uprising in the country. Destruction of so many lives and properties is ongoing. And therefore, we are calling on Jack Dorsey to come and pay Nigerian government $1 billion in compensation for all the damages that he caused this country. And also, we knew exactly the kind of script they play in other countries when they intervene using their social platform. So for his gross abuse of privilege, because he is a platform owner where most of the gullible Nigerians have joined and have been actively patronizing and supporting him, he went ahead, tweeted that people should donate to a Bitcoin account, an account that is untractable to us. The end game is to topple the government, democratically elected government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So as a patriotic citizen, I cannot sit and wait and see our country degenerate like the way we have in Libya, the way we've seen now um, in, in Egypt, when it turns out to be a graveyard. We cannot allow those kind of damages to happen in Nigeria. And that is why if you look at our respondent, we call on the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to use his constitutional power to stop this protest from going on. To Madala, Malam Abubakar, Mala Ibrahim, Kaji, Sherehenda, Wato, Shaga, Wani, the Banda, Banda, Ban, Sokayi, Dangani, the one and Mohemim, but two. Ah, Barim Mumpara, the Kemala Ibrahim, Nam, watch a Pasara Zaku by one and Sharu Hokadim. To ni the Gachikim, what a nun Sharu Hokanda, Shaga, Banana, Sokayi, one day Epicamani. She ne na shugaban majalisar wakilaita Nigeria wato Femi Bajami Yamila wato sai ka ji mamaki idan mutun zai zo yayi irin wadannan maganganu na cewar shi ba zai sa makasafin kudi na kasa hannu ba saboda dai yana da alfarma kasancewa bisa kujerar wannan majalisa kakakin majalisa ce ba zai sa hannu ba sai an sa wato sunayen wadanda su runda na yan sanda din nan suka ci mazarafi a cikin kasafin kudin Najeriya wato ranko da za a ba su to sai ka rasa gane shin shi wani irin shugabani ko shi yana ganin shugaban wani bangare ne na kasar koko shi ma ya shiga cikin zanga zanga kuma shi ma ya shiga cikin zanga 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 eh wani mana ya shiga tunda yace haka yace ba zai sa hannu ba ai kaga ya shiga cikin zanga zanga to wannan abun mamaki ne domin a ai akwai mutane a arewacin Najeriya da aka yi makisan gilla idan ba zan manta ba ko shekarar shekarar jiyan nan an kashe mutane a shirin da biyu a wani kauye dake ake kira tungar kwana a karamar hukumar mulki ta 30 shin yana ina bayyi magana cewar ba zai sama kasafin kudi hannu ba sai su wadannan mutane da aka kashe a karamar hukumar mulkin 30 mafara an sa diyar su a cikin kasafin kudi koko su yana nufin su ba mutane bane wa'ancan yan wancan bangaren su kadai ne mutanen Najeriya da dole sai an biya su kasabunna sannan yana ina mutun nawa aka kashe a jihar Katsina mutun nawa aka kashe a jihar Borno mutun nawa aka kashe a jihar Zamfara mutun nawa aka kashe a jihar Sokoto mutun nawa aka kashe a jihar a jihohin Adamawa Yobe da 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 Taraba da Kaduna da Naija in mutun nawa aka kashe a wadannan jihohi dake arewacin Najeriya da 
shi wannan shugaban majalisar dattawan Najeriya bai fito yayi zanga zanga ba sai a wannan karu da matasa suka yi zanga zanga suka tsaga mushi ya ga jini sannan zai tsaya yayi wannan magana to wannan magana da yayi ba daidai bane kuma ta saba mu kundin tsarin mulkin kasa kuma ni in ni ne shi shugaban majalisa na rantse da Allah da annabin Allah zan sauka daga kan mu kamina saboda na nuna ni bana son ko kuma in ce ba shugaban al'umar Najeriya nake gabaki da ba ka nuna kai dan bangare na nuna wani dan bangare nake to muddin nan nuna kai nuna kai wani dan bangare ne ka ka saba mu rantsuwar da kai in kai musulmi ne da qur'ani in kai krista ne da bible cewar za ka kasance shugaban Najeriya na kowa da kowa ba tare da nuna bambanci ko son kai ko kuma son zuciya ba saboda haka su ɗan majalisar tarayyar Najeriya ya kamata su gaggauta tsige shi wannan shugaba domin ba daidai bane yi wannan huruci kuma ba da yawon bakin su magana to malamu shi ne magana me za ka ƙara mana da shi dangane da musamman ho ga 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 ɗan majalisan su za su yi kamar a motion da ake cewa an kawo an yi magana an kai kaza an kai matsaya kaza sannan ka ce ga matakin amma an san cewa shine na ƙarshe wanda zai sa hannu a wannan abu ya ce bai sa sai an yi wannan kaga bai kyautawa ɗan Najeriya ba bai kyautawa al'ummomin musamman jihohin arewa kamar yadda ya zayyana wa'anda aka kashe mutane ba tunda ai kamata a ce majalisan nan sun dade suna maganganu akan matakan da za a dauka na mutanen mu da aka kashe wanda ba a yin ba a ma fadi to kaga wa'annan dubba su ba a kyauta ba anan sannan in ka lura yawanci jawaban da shugabannin nan suka yi sun goyi bayan a yi zanga zanga na lumana cewa ya kamata matasa su fito domin su kare kamar yadda muka ce su ne manyan gobe su ke da goban dole ne su taso su kare wannan goban nasu domin manya wa'anda su ne shugabanni yanzu in sun ba da wuri su sami al'umma mai kyau su sami ƙasa mai kyau su sami arziki mai kyau wanda za su zai yalwata a cikin ƙasar nan to amma ko shi shugaban ƙasar kanshi ya ce ya daidai ne daidai ne mutane a cikin jawabin su ai cewa ya daidai ne matasa su yi zanga zanga su nuna kin kin jinin su da wannan mataki da ake abin da ake to bari daidai wannan gaba mallam ibrahim sai mu saurari jawabin shi shugaban ƙasa muhammadu buhari da ma jawabin shi kan shi shugaban wato yan sanda na najeriya wanda dukkanin su suka yi baya ga wannan zanga zanga ta soma gudana a najeriya maskallan mu kuwa sai mu saurari mu kalli wannan i acknowledge the genuine concerns and agitations of members of the public regarding the excessive use of force by some members of sars the choice to demonstrate peacefully is a fundamental right of citizens as enshrined in section 14 of our constitution and other enactments but this right to protest also imposes on the demonstrators the responsibility to respect the rights of other citizens and the necessity to operate within the law as a democratic government we listen to and carefully evaluated the five point demand of the protesters to our neighbors in particular and members of the international community many of whom have expressed concern about the ongoing development in Nigeria we thank you and urge you all to seek to know all the facts available before taking a position or rushing to judgment and making hasty pronouncements following a review of the current developments and in due cognizance of the wide and legitimately held concerns of well many citizens on the existence and operations of special and robbery squad as a responsive and citizen oriented police force it is hereby directed as follows 1 
The Special Anti Robbery Squad of the Nigeria Police, otherwise known as SARS, is hereby dissolved across all formations, the 36 state police commands, and the federal capital territory where they currently exist. Two, all officers and men currently serving in the UNIF are to be deployed with immediate effect. To Madala Maskalamu, Mala Ibrahim, Yawa, Bisa Gajawabin Su Shagabanin, the Kumajerum Matakanda Sakabu by Enzu, Mizakachi to Dangani Donal Amadi. To Kagade, Bisa Gabayananda Sunkai, Nada Day, one as Angazanga Tai Tai Siri, Sabuda, Duka Matakanda, Masuzan Gazanga Sukache Abi. Ambisu. Anru shi wana runduna. Mm. Kamariyada shi shugaban kasada shi aina hin mm. shugaban su yansan yes. danna jeria mm. su kabada bayani. Mm. Sanan simpa di matakanda aka dauka. Mm. Wanda uh, ina ganin wannan kekyawang abuni diyeta oparua a Nigeria. Domba atapa yi. Mm. Yawa. Wanda yadachi. Tu ama idan kadubi ili nyadda aka chikabada yung wanda zanga zanga di mkuma ya zama wani abunadapa. Mm kuma wannan ya nuna tsabar cewar da akwai lauje a cikin nadi a zukatan mutane da dama musamman shugabanni irin su shi shugaban majalisar wakilai na kasar wanda ba daidai bane su dunga fitowa suna yin wannan furici da suke tunzura matasa suna daukar mataki ko kuma yin abubuwan da basu dace ba ga ita karan kanta kasar ta Najeriya domin ka ji ai shi shugaban kasar ya ce daidai ne yan Najeriya su nemi hakokan su to amma kuma kada su manta Najeriya a matsayinta na kasa tana da haƙƙin kula da hakokin wasu kuma don haka dole ne duk abinda gwamnatin Najeriya za ta yi dole ne ta tsaya ta kare hakokin wadansu mutanen wadanda ba su ne a cikin wadannan da suke lalata dukiyar jama'a ba ka duba irin abubuwan da suka faru a Birnin Lagos inda an kone ko kuma an lalata inda ake aje kayayyaki wato mashigar ita ita Lagos din take take Lagos wanda ake kira Nigerian Port Authority an lalata ta abubuwan gwamnati da kayayyakin al'umma an lalata su wasu an sace su ka duba irin yadda aka lalata bankunan GTB da wadansu bankuna dake Lagos din aka fasa aka sace kudin mutane ka duba irin yadda aka wato lalata ita wato get ko kuma kofar leki da ake kira toll gate aka lalata ta aka kona ta ka duba irin yadda aka kona gidan television na TVC ka duba yadda aka kona wato father sarkin Lagos ka duba irin yadda aka kona kamfanin jarida ta the nation ka duba irin yadda aka kone hotel din mai sunan hotel din da ake kira shi na manta da sunan hotel to ai mala ibrahim da yake akwai fire fight game da wannan bannar da aka da wato da ta'asar da aka yi a birnin na lagos da wasu sassana najeriya da mu da masu kallon bari mu kalli yadda yanayi irin illa da bannar da aka yi wanda yake daga baya sai mu ba ku dama a ce wani abu to madalla a whole cast stand raised down on fire a whole cast stand here in apo a whole cast stand here in apo Look at people's cars burning. Can you imagine? Look at people's cars burning. This is a car stand. Raise down. I don't know what these boys want. Police station. The current situation at uh, Udogbo Police Station. See, they burn everything down. Police station is nowhere to be found. The child of Lord Joshua, Custom Office. Wow. <laughs> Food plenty. Our food plenty for dear. A warehouse of 600 feet by 600 feet, full of COVID-19 products, was discovered today. Look at people struggling to pass. This pro this incident has been going on since 7 a.m. As I speak with you, sources say the warehouse has not gone off. Palliative that we're supposed to be giving to people during the COVID-19 period was hidden away. Hey. 
This is happening now in custom in my area in estate. Custom office being born, some people moving rice. This is what a peaceful protest has turned into, turned into another thing. This is happening in my area now. To Madala, uh, Maskalamu, Kondega Eren Banda de Ankei, Mala Uwaka, to Enzudumun Kali Eren Hasara de Akei, Minini to Nananda Kaki de Shi, na one Akawan, the Masala de Kuma Eren, uh, Watu, Dimbe Hasara de Taifa, Watu, Akwe, Zamada Miki, no one shooting Muna, uh, Mashapu, hm, I can corona by the Castle Loka and Aki, uh, Chicken Corona virus, so say so say. Ana magana chua bayon Corona. Kasa she musaman kasa she masitasuwa. Zasu shiga hala ya kaka ni kai. Wana akan Corona kia. Tu yanzan haka maana dairu. Abanda aki hasa shang reshin da aki sanadi ya barna. Da wa enda suka shiga wana zanga zanga suka jawa. Akuda nchen kasa nang kawai kia nang. A Lagos. A Lagos. A Lagos. Kuma a Lagos kawai. Yanzan ana magana an kusam trillion. Asara da akai trillion magana ce ta kwana uku ko hudu da suka wuce kuma kamar yadda muka fada ana har yanzu fa zanga zanga ba a daka ta duk da wai an hana zarga a cikin gari a wasu dauhima a wasu dauhima ana 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 to kaga wannan barna ce wanda ka hada da abinda aka debo daga corona da kuma abinda suka yi yanzu wannan barna ce babba wanda kasar nan kafin ta sake marmarowa da mancan ana maganan cewa yaya za a yi adakatar da cin hanci da rashawa sai ga corona sai ga wannan barna to idan matasa aka ci gaba da wannan abu sannan kuma wa'in su daga cikin manyan mu suna ba su goyen baya malam dair barnar da za a yi a cikin kasar na Allah kadai ya sani sai dai a shiga halin haula'i a rasa yadda za a yi a fita sannan sai mu ci gaba da fada domin idan kana cikin rashi to kowa duk motsin da wani ya gaban ka hauci zai baka saboda haka idan ba a maza maza aka daina wannan abu muka fara juyawa hal harkokin mu na tattalin arziki ba to wannan barnar za ta jawo ko kuma za ta haifar da kiyayya fi yadda yadda muke ciki yankan kaka manta akwai motoci masu kai abinci daga arewa da aka kwashe musu kaya akwai motoci wa'anda za su zo daga kudu da aka hana su hutowa duk wa'annan yan kasuwa ne wa'anda aka da masu har awaki na gani ana dauka ana gudu da su hakka za wani yace har zakara ya gani a hannun wata mata to wannan barna ce wanda wani irin tunani kake yi kaga ka kwashe mutane haka kai kadai kuma a cikin wannan lokacin ka riga ka bata wannan abu inda ake ganin za a samu a dan farfado da tattalin arzikin ka rushe shi to da me za a ci gaba nan gaba kuma wani abun ban ban haushi ma ya kai har sai da yan yan soja ma suka shigo suna rokon su su yi hakuri wannan lalata dukiya da suke yi bai dace ba sojojin nan suna cewa idan fa suka kai lokacin da za su yi amfani da bindigogi ana lalata abin nan banna za ta karanta azara za abin zai kara yin lalata yace kudin ku ne fa ake di ba ana siyo muna bindigogi din nan muna kuma muna yakaku yace ba daidai bane so don haka 
wato idan ka duba al'amarin alhaji zaka gane cewa akwai keta akwai galari akwai shari akwai bakin ciki akwai hasada duk sun tattaru a wannan zanga zanga da ake shugaban kasa ya fito fili ya yi jawabi musamman ga yan kasa dan gane da wannan zanga zanga da kuma matsayin gwamnatin sa Malik Ibrahim mm. na san ka saurari jawabin shugaban kasa mm. musamman da aka sa a kafafen gidajen television vision mm. wanda ta siri kake ganin wanda ta siri kake ganin wannan jawabin na shugaban kasa zai yi wurin kwantar da wannan tarzumat to am um, ta sirin da zai yi guda daya ne mm. uh, kuma naji dadin irin yadda ya fito yayi ma mutane jawabi na farko dai ana zargin cewa yayi shuru ya kin bayani wannan tsofan da kuke ganin shi ya san abin da yake yi yana so ne ya kalle hankalin kowa kuma su wadannan da suke da suke wannan cutatar da jama'a ai ya kale su ne su yi a gani idan tukunya ta yi bori aka ce wuyan ta saboda haka yanzu jiki magayi dama ya taba fadi jiki magayi su sun ji jiki duk da sun ji ma wadansu yan sassa da ba sassan wajen ba sun jijji musu don in kaga yanda ake jifar trailolin motoci da direbobin su da shanun da aka dauko daga arewacin najeriya zuwa kudancin najeriya kai abin zai baka matukar tausayi da kuma baka haushi saboda haka jawabin shugaban kasa anan ni ya yi min daidai mutane sun ji a jikin su sun dandana kudar su yanzu kuma ya bada umurni ko dai a dakata ko kuma gwamnati ta doki matakin da ya dace akan ko wani ne saboda babu wanda ya wuce karfin doka don haka jawabin sa zai yi tasiri kwarai da gaske musamman idan aka yi la'akari da taron da yayi da majalisar majalisar tsaro da kuma majalisar zarta zuwa ta kasa da kuma ainihin tsofaffin shi a gabannin kasa da yayi da su to wannan ya kamata mu yan najeriya mu yi la'akari ko kuma ya kasance muna kukan kurciya ga irin abin da zai biyo baya na matakin da gwamnati za ta dauka domin bai yiwa gwamnati ta zura ido ta gani ana kisan mutane ana lalata dukiyar al'umma ana lalata dukiyar gwamnati ta zura ido tana kallo ba zai taba yiwa ba saboda haka jawabin shugaban kasa yayi daidai yayi mun dadi kuma mutane musamman wadannan tsagerarun da suka ce su ba za su yadda su bi dokokin kasa ba su bari su ga abin da zai biyo baya kai mala ubaka da yake muna da dan sauran dakika biyu ka kalli jawabin da shi shugaban kasa yayi musamman akan wannan zanga zanga mu yafi ja hankalin ka wato ba abin da ja hankali na kaman magana da yayi da al'umumin kasashen waje suna yawan shigowa cikin harkar Najeriya abin da bai shafe su ba ma wannan lokaci kamata yayi ni ban so ma ni kaman shugaban kasan bai yi ma yadda na so ba da jan kunnan su zai kan ku sake sa mana harka bakin ku har mun ramu sai mun daidaita su eh ya ce domin tun da ya ce ku rabi da mu eh ya ce ayi da su ai sai yi jike kafin su yi magana eh to wadda gargadi ya kamata ma ai masu ya ce ya ce ku daina samu na akwai zafi mala ibrahim mu ba mu matsa muku lokacin da aka yi wancan kashe kacen duk abin da najeriya tace shine abi a hankali abi doka mu ma haka za ku ce mana amma kafin a kai ga ko ina mutanen na har sun zo sun ce gwamnati ce tayi kaza gwamnati har yanzu ba su yi magana cewa an yi kone kone wayannan yan zanga zangan sun bata arzikin tattalin kasar mu sun yi kaza wanda ya zai cutawa kasa ba har yanzu din nan yau an yi wajen sati kenan ana sati biyu ana na uku ana wannan zanga zanga kamata ya ce yanzu haka sun fara tausayawa kuma ga abun gahili ana gani sun fara tausayawa al'ummomin najeriya da gwamnatin najeriya akan halar da ta shiga sanadiya wannan zanga zanga amma su sun kau da kai ba su maganar wannan sun kau da kai akan mutanen da ake kashewa da dukiyoyin da ake barnatawa suna nan suna cewa wannan zanga zanga yana kan yana kan ka'ida gwamnati ya kamata ta ta fito ta yau matasa abinda gwamnati tana kokari domin ai ya jera ma cikin abubuwan da 
gwamnati ta yi wa matasa a kasar nan wanda ga suna ana yi an sani ya kamata a ce gwamnati ta duka jan kunnan wa'annan mutane da su da NGO NGO din nan da ake cewa su ma suna shiga suna wuce makadi da ya kamata su ma da mataki a kalwanonin hukumomin kasashen waje ka san dan dan shekara ina jin ko bare ne ko bare yawancan sun nemi a sa su a cikin kundin tsarin mulkin Najeriya domin su samu damar da za su rika cin mutuncin gwamnati gwamnati ta yi tunani mai kyau da ta kiyarda a sa su a cikin wannan kundin da ma yan Najeriya gaba da yan Najeriya kai yanzu ka ce an yi magana da yan Najeriya sun kiyarda su yawa kai yanzu ka ce abin da ke faruwa a jihar Borno da yankin gabas arewa maso gabas ba akwai sharin su wadannan kungiyoyin ba ai kwanan bayan idan ka ji har ma an hana su raba abinci a yankuna saboda an fahimci su ana amfani da su domin harzuka wutar wannan abinda don haka ya kamata gwamnati ta dauki mataki akan wadannan kungiyoyin to madalla maskalan mu yanzu kuma lokaci ne da zamu sake tafiya hutun takaitaccen rabe lokaci idan mun dawo zamu dora daga inda muka tsaya kamun nan sai a dakace mu To madalla maskalan mu barka mu da dawowa takaitaccen hutun rabin lokaci kada dai a sha'afa ana tare da shirin zauran injury do shirin da tashar gidan television ta standard voice wato SVTV ke daukar nauyin kawo muku a kowane mako domin warware muku zare da abawa musamman akan muhimman batutuwan da suka taso a cikin jaha kuma kasa baki daya wani zubin ma mukan tsallaka ketare muna tattaunawa ne dangane da cigaba da gudanar da zanga zanga da ake yi da sunan wato rundunar yan sanda ta SAS Malam Ibrahim na'am ka sha ka koro da bayanai masu yawa na'am yanzu muna neman wa'annan irin sharori ne ya kamata a baiwa dukkanin bangaroran da gwamnati da su kansu wa'annan suke wato wannan zanga zanga ganin cewa an rige dai an doki matakin da ya kamata a gyara na soke wannan runduna tare da mayaita kusan ma zamu iya cewa dukkanin bukatun da suka bada gwamnati ta ce ta aminta da su to wa'annan irin sharori ne zaka bada kowane bangare to shawara ta farko dai shine wannan abu da ya faru ya nuna tsananan rashin aikin yi dake akwai a Najeriya don haka ya kamata gwamnati ta tashi tsaye ta neman mu matasa ayyukan yi duk da cewa gwamnati ta fite ta ce ta fite da kudi har naira biliyan 75 domin matasa su samu aikin yi wannan ba shi bane ba a bude masana'antu inda za a doki matasa aiki na dindindin in ka tashi da safi ka san aiki na jiran ka office ba ka barin wurin aikin ka sai karfi 7 ka taso ba ka da lokacin da zaka shiga wurin iskanci saboda haka dole ne a bude masana'antu a doki matasa aiki domin a hana su shiga wadansu ayyuka da ba daidai ba sannan na biyu ya kamata a sake yima yan Najeriya ga baki dayan mu wankin kokwalwa domin tarbiyar da muke da ita gaskiya bata dace da yanda za a ci gaba a kasar nan ba sannan abu kuma da nake ba da shawara shine cin hanci da rashawa yana dai daga cikin shikashikan wato wato musguna tare da tunzura mutane musamman matasa game da yanda ake suke ganin wadansu suna wandaka da waliliya suna hawan motoci masu tsada suna shiga da sayan gidaje masu tsada su ko ina a cikin kasar nan suna yi yadda suka ga dama da kudaden al'umma yayin da sauran mutane suna gani cewar ba albashin su bane ba ba kuma wata sana'a suke yi ba a a kudin jama'a ne suke yi ba suna ta wata hanya da bata dace ba suna yin wannan wandaka saboda haka dole ne a tashi tsaye wajen sake yin kuskuri ma ga yanda ake yaki da cin hanci da rashawa a kasar nan ta yanda kai da kake ganin in ka shiga aikin gwamnati ka samu hanyar da zaka yi sata zaka gwammace cewar gara ma baka aikin gwamnati sannan abu kuma na gaba da zan shawarta shine kada in doke mala abakar yana da abubuwan da zai fada shine game da yan arewa wannan abu da aka yi ya kamata ya zama darasi ga mu yan arewa da musamman shugabannin mu na yan arewa da ba ma son mu taimaki yan uwan mu idan muna kan matsayi kuma ya kamata ya zamanto darasi gare mu na cewar idan wani yana kan bukatar a taimake shi a taimake shi domin ya rufe wata kafa 
ta yanda zai dauki nauyin wadansu matasan zai dauki nauyin wadansu matsaloli da suke faruwa a al'umma tare da wato rufe wata kafa sannan kuma ya kamata ga baki daya mu yan Najeriya mu yi la'akari da cewar yanzu duniyar ta canza ana iya yin amfani da yanar gizo a ci kasa da yaki to madalla mala abubakar na san cewa dukkanin al'amuran da suka da za su iya faruwa za su ba darussa wa'anna irin darasa ne kan lura da cewa wannan al'amari ya bari musamman ga yan kasa Najeriya to darasi dai bai zo ba tukunna dan kuma yadda muka ce an riga an yi barna yanzu sakamakon ne za a jira zanga zanga ma basu gama basu daina yin shi ba har yanzu amma a hasashe na san cewa in ba Allah ya kiyaye ba to za mu shiga halin kaka ni kai kamar yadda muka fada da su sannan cikin abin da matakan da kamar yadda ya jero abin da ya kamata a yi ya kamata a kare inganta harkan ilimi domin jahilci yana kawo wannan abu kuma inganci ga harkan ilimi bai ba wai magana ce ta malaman jami'o'i suna yajin aiki a ba su kudi malaman secondary suna yaji a'a tun daga kasa primaryin nan da aka bari yanzu in ka lura yawanci kowa da ya dan samu kudi sai bude yan makarantan shi yanzu ba kudi da yawa sannan su masu kudin da sun ga makarantan nan da kudi da yawa sai su ce to karatun ya fi kyau sai su kwashi ayan su kai ana kara danne makarantun gwamnati to ya kamata gwamnati mata ni ban ki ba ma a ce a rufe makarantu na kudi a koma lalle lalle a ce sai makarantun gwamnati sannan sai a gyara makarantun a inganta sha'anin karatun a bawa malaman nan koro mai kyau a ba su habashi mai kyau dukkan hakokin su a ba su masu kyau kamar yadda ka ga shugaban kasa lokacin da ake bikin cika shekara 60 na Najeriya ya ce za a a a bikin malamai ya ce za a gyara musu albashin su da sauran su to tun daga primary in aka fara haka aka gyara aka gyara secondary to ba za a samu matsala a jami'a ba tun da an riga an gyara wa'annan amma yanzu in ka lura an fi hangen jami'o'i an kyala primary har yanzu abin da ake kwashi corrupt ne ake kawo wa asa a jami'a shi yasa wa'anda za su fita su yi irin wannan zanga zanga za ka ga wa'anda suka je jami'a ne amma ba wai ilimin a cikin kawunan su to alhaji yasa ka ga ana abin kamar hauka inda za ka ga yaro ya gama jami'a amma bai iya rubuta ma application to ka ga sentence mai kyau ma ba zai yi ma ba ya gama university to inda a ce Allah Allah in Allah ya taimake mu akai wannan gwamnatoci su daina cewa mun gyara kaza a ilimi a gani ba ma sai sun fada ba shikenan za a samu canjin nan da ake bukatan Allah ne to madalla maskalan mu dai iyakacin abinda za mu iya muku kenan saboda karamcin lokaci sai kuma a tarbe mu shiri ya sati na gaba inda za ku ji mu doke da wani sabon shirin da ma wasu sabbin batutuwa a madadin bakin nawa musamman shugaban wannan gidan television na standard voice Malam Ibrahim Dusara da kuma sakataren kungiyar Injiri Duta Kasa Rishan Jahar Zamfara wanda kamar yadda na fadi ma'aikaci ne a kan falin dalancin labarai na kasa Malam Abu Bakar Ahmad da kuma sauran abukkanin aikin nawa wa'anda suka taya ni hidimar kawo muku wannan shirin ni da na gabatar dahirar sama ilimin farake cewa sai wani makon idan Allah ya kai mu